in all honesty. Good morning, everyone. Get ready to greet. I need to do something about Sakura. I better go to the dining hall and talk to the others about it one more time. Ah! Huh? Was that someone screaming? I think it came from the dining hall. Let's run. Whoa, we're running. Somebody dead? Somebody get murdered? Ah! Lakota, we've got a big problem, man. What's wrong? Ah! Look. Hero's finger shook as he pointed. Hina! Hina! Are you okay? What happened? She... she killed her. Wait, who killed him? Genocide Jill killed Hina! You gotta be kidding! She's not dead. Open your eyes. No way she's dead. What, what happened? Uh -huh. Togo and Hina just all of a sudden they were yelling and then they knocked the pepper off the table And that led to a sneeze Jill, okay. Her giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? I might be flat, but at least mine are real <laughs> I Look at my shapely collarbone. Doesn't it just totally set you on fire? Mm, totally anyway, not you, totally, you totally not a boy, adorable voice. Just get her out of my side, okay? Or else I'll start cutting and cutting and cutting and indulging myself for who knows how long. Okay, then let's get Hina to the nurse's office. Come on, hero. Let's help. Uh, um. Okay. <laughs> Genocide Jack's abrasive laugh chased us out of the room as we carried Hina away. I was like, she's not dead. By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injuries in the nurse's office, she seemed to have fully regained her composure. Sorry. She said it, she said verbally sorry, but word-wise she said thank you. Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah, it really was just a scratch. <laughs> but still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you'd be dead right now. That's all thanks to me, you know. Yes, well, a thousand thanks to you, sir. So sarcastic. That makes you sound even more hostile. Hey, Hina, what the heck happened? Oh, um, we just got into a fight. Well, let me guess, the fight was because of Sakura. At first, I tried to just ignore it. Hey, Dunk Donuts. She likes this. Hina likes donuts. You, you'd, you'd like Hina. If you didn't let jerk buttholes get you all the get to you all the time, you'll never have time left to live your life. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just, without thinking about it, I felt like I wanted to punch her like a dozen times. Serious. <clears throat> a dozen punches isn't really without thinking. Things got out of hand. Genocide Jack just let loose, right? Sorry. It's my fault. It's my own fault, but I just couldn't take it anymore because 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 she was saying all these terrible things about my friend, you know Before I knew it, he and his eyes started welling up in tears And just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over The door to the nurse's office burst open I thought the door was gonna fly off its hinges And there she stood before us Sakura? You heard what happened. Huh? Oh, no, nothing. It's not a big deal. Hey. Makoto, here, what is the meaning of this? <laughs> it wasn't me, it was Genocide Jack. That's all the demented murderous fiends fall. Oh. Damn. You hurt Tina, damn you. Leave me alone, but hurt her. What is this? How dare you! What is this? <laughs> I'm okay, really. It's just a scratch. Oh! No forgiveness! I can't forgive this! Oh! Oh! If 
you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. What? What? I don't hate you, exactly. I can't forgive this. Why? <sighs> Somebody save me. Hero really nearly tripped over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office. But just a second later, what's going on? Hey. What's all this about? What's all this noise about? Kyoko, Kyoko stood in the doorway of the nurse's office, taking Hero's spot in the room. It would seem... I gather that something happened. Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura. Wait. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything. I just... I'm drawing a line right here and now. I'm drawing a line. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wait, Sakura! Hina sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura. The only one left were... Us two. Alright, I guess I talked to her. Um, Kyoko? Are you still mad? Yeah, I figured. That's fine. Huh? <laughs> then do you forgive me for not being able to talk to you about In it? Other words. You could have told me about Sakura, Sakura and Monokuma's fighting, but you stayed quiet. You were only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? I, I, I was trying to tell you, but the game wouldn't let me. You didn't want to confuse everyone until you could talk to her and be sure of what you saw. That's what you were thinking, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah? <laughs> to think like that. I wouldn't have expected such arrogance from you. What? Because... Ultimately, that means you don't trust me. No, that's not it. But, but if that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind. I'm sorry. That's fine. I've already forgotten about it. No, you haven't. Besides, and I... I may have overreacted. Huh? Anyway. It's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Okay, thank you. Can I talk to her again? <sighs> <laughs> Something else? What is it you wanted to talk to me about? Indeed. Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. Where? So... Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess, but... Shall we go? Well then, shall we get going? Don't murder me! Please don't murder me! I don't think she'll murder me. I trust her enough to not murder me. With her typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, setting a brisk pace. Ah, Kyoko. I heard you catch up with her. She walked ahead in silence, and in silence I chased her, and eventually we arrived. Oh, in the place with no camera. The dressing room. What if somebody gets murdered here? I feel like this is the perfect place to murder somebody. Just think about it. There's no cameras. Monokuma won't know who did it. Can't even be a judge. Like, what the heck? Maybe their cameras are just hidden. So, the something else you mentioned? Indeed. That's right. It has to do with alter ego. But you said you didn't need alter ego anymore. Wrong. I didn't say we didn't need him. I said he had done his job. Besides, it's not. It's not us that needs Alter Ego. He has business with us. Huh? Right. Alter Ego asked me to bring others to come see him. Apparently, he has something he wants to ask us. Alter Ego wants to ask us something? Correct. Alter Ego asked me to bring... Okay. I guess I should... I guess I should, uh, click the computer. Uh. <laughs> Hello. So, um... So, it's just the two of you? Kyoko and Makoto? Her fingers glided across the keyboard. Is two not enough? No, it's okay. Two should be plenty. But what is it that he wants to ask Indeed. us? Let's find out, shall we? Kyoko typed in the question. What do you want to ask us? So, um... Oh yeah, so I'd like to take some 
I'd like you to take me somewhere where you can connect me to the social school network. What? What? Yoko and I quickly glanced at each other. She replied, why? Well, um, you said my job was done, right? But to just stop here, saying I finished my work, uh, I don't want that. I want to be able to help. I want to keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that I can get, so we can all get out of here. That's, right. That's what Master would want, too. So to help everyone else, to solve the mystery of the school, right. the only way I can help is, to, is if you connect me to the school's network. But if you did that, that's basically suicide. I'm positive the Master Plan would find out about that. They'd find you and they'd... You agree, right, Kyoko? So, I realize how dangerous it could be, but still, I have to do this. But, I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but... but still, when I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm some... In, I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So it's okay. Hey. For the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. I couldn't help but get lost in that voice. It was so committed. Too admirable. Too fragile. Hey. You remember what you asked before, Makoto? You asked me what the difference between a person and a program, right? Yeah. Certainly. When I talk to our alter, alter ego, I don't know. I have no idea how to answer that question. <laughs> I think maybe that's a question even the program's creator can't answer. But I can't say this. Correct. There's no question that Alter Ego isn't a friend. Kyoko? I... To be honest, I don't want Alter Ego to push himself anymore. Because if we take any more risks, the Mastermind really will notice it. But... Makoto. Let's do it, Makoto. Let's connect Alter Ego to the network. But... Hey. He's our friend, so I want to take his feelings into consideration. And he says he wants to fight along... Signed his friends. Now, if you yeah. were in his place, could you just sit by and do nothing in this situation? If you saw everyone else fighting and doing their best, would you just look the other way? Or would you stand up? Stand up tall next to everyone else and tell them you're their friend. So, uh, hey, are you guys fighting? If it's about me, please don't. I want to... Uh, oh. I want to be able to say, I know I can do Leave this. So please, let me try. Listen. And besides, there's one place where the mastermind might not notice. One place. That's right. Remember, there's another place besides here where there's no surveillance camera. What, the bathroom? Or that room? The secret room? That's it, the secret room you told me about. I definitely remember there being no surveillance camera Indeed. there. And I do believe you can connect to the network from there. I remember seeing an Ethernet port on the wall. However, however, just because there's no camera there doesn't mean there's no danger. There's no way to be sure the mastermind isn't monitoring the network somehow. Well, I've always uh, well, I'll, we'll also have to move Alter Ego, and the mastermind may spot us going into the secret room. If they pick up on any of this, then it's all over. You're right. That's what we have to do. But despite all that, I still think we need to try. Correct. Because that's our best chance of finding any new clues. Kyoko? In that case, will you let me carry him? There's no way you could hide him with what you're wearing, right? So let me do it. It's true. Okay, then. I'll leave it to you. Thank you. So then. Then let's get started. It's going to be a little cramp for you, Alter Ego. Bear with us, okay? We start packing him up right away. We close the laptop and stuffed it underneath my jacket. <laughs> ah ha ha, it tickles. It's a, you're a, la you're a laptop. Shh. You can't talk right now. We're going to move you to another room. Until we get you there, you have to be absolutely silent, okay? Understood. Your command has been implemented. Good. To have him react like a machine like that all of a sudden, I didn't know how to react. Makoto. In the secret room, there are a bunch of different cables in one of the desk drawers, so there might be a network cable in there. However... Assuming the mastermind hasn't taken it already... Well, all we can do is go and check for ourselves. It's true. Agreed. Let's head to the secret room. I mean, me going to the bathroom doesn't seem... It's on... What, what floor was it on? The third floor? I'm going the wrong way. Was it on the third floor? The third floor bathroom? 
I, I, I don't exactly remember. I think it was the third floor. Hey, Toka. Wait, are you Toka or... Oh, no, you're not Toka. You're Genocide Jill. Was it the third floor? Hey. Why? Are you sure all the documents were gone? I refuse to believe. Go and check again. What? Hey, listen to me. Just hurry up. To make sure you don't run off. I'm gonna wait right here. Oh, I get it. She's acting. She was so forceful. I thought I had made her mad again. Just somehow. a second. Why are you standing there? Hurry up and go. Okay, okay, I'm so going. Then. And be thorough. I'm counting on you. Okay, it, it was the second floor, apparently. Oh, I just went right in. Okay, first we have to find a network cable. According to Kyoko, there should be a bunch of cables in this drawer. Hmm. Hey, that looks like one. Now we just have to connect to the alter ego. I immediately got to work. I pulled out the laptop and connected it to the ethernet port with the cable. And that should do it. Um, that's right. I think it worked. Leave it to me. Just leave the rest to me. I swear I'll find something. I might even be able to connect to the outside world. If I can, I'll see if I... So, I'll call for help. So please, just wait a little while I'm longer. Just hold tight and put your faith in me. So I was about to leave. I decided to leave him one last thing. No matter what, we're gonna get out of here. You and all the rest of us as friends. Huh? Friends? Even me? Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Makoto. Alright, we're done. Makoto. How'd it go? Well, it went okay, but all the, um, documents were gone, just like I told you. Every reply was an unintentional mix of acting and real feelings. Correct. I see. There's nothing left for us here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Before I knew it, she was walking away. She wasn't acting anymore, that much was for sure. Ah, Kyoko. What? Yes? So... We're just gonna split up. That? Of course, I have no reason to stay with you at this point. Well, maybe, uh, but isn't it a little too direct? <sighs> Should I hesitate and fumble for something to say? You're so high maintenance. That's not what I meant. I just had more I wanted to talk to you about. Like, what are you going to do about Sakura? It's true. Well, something has to be done, that's true. However... But the way things are right now, there's no way to persuade anyone. They don't have the mind to listen. What should we do? So... If we can find some new clue, that would likely change the situation. That's all we can hope for right now. Which is why Alter Ego. Correct. All we can do is wait and believe in our friends. You're right. That's our only option. We parted ways and, headed, and I headed back to my room. Again. Do we have free time now? I'm kind of tired. So I laid in bed. Maybe it was because of the stress of moving alter ego, but it was way more tired than I realized. So before, so before long at all, apparently I fell asleep. I had completely dozed off. Oh, somebody's at the door. Who do you think it is? Huh? The sharp sound of the doorbell pierced my sleepy haze and pulled me back to the real world. Rattle. Makoto. Get out here. What's what's going Indeed. on? Hina just came to see me and she was white as a ghost. It sounds like something happened. What? As soon as I heard those words, my heart started to beat a little faster. I suddenly found myself wide awake. She said for us to come to the rec room. The rec room? Okay, let's hurry. Should I talk to her? Huh? Koto, Kyoko, you know what's wrong? Something's not right in the rec room. What's inside? There's a window on the rec room door, and I hurried to look inside. And when I did, Sakura, is she unconscious? She's sitting up in the chair like she's bowing her head. Hey, what's going on? Did something happen to her? Huh? I was just walking past and I happened to notice her through the window, but I couldn't get the door open. I tried knocking, I tried calling her name, but she wouldn't respond. 
So what should we do? What are we gonna do? Anyway. First of all, we need to get into that room, but the door's locked, right? And if we break in, we'll be violating school regulations. We're gonna, we're going to force our way in. I just said yeah. the board isn't locked. It's not locked because the rec room doesn't have a lock. Huh? Then why? It feels like the door is pressed up against something inside the room. Is it the chair? Chair. In other words. Either way, the door isn't locked, which means, as far as I can tell, the rule doesn't apply. Then there's no problem if we break it. Let's smash the window. That would be the fastest way. Okay, I'll get something to break it with. Wait right here. Inside the rec room, Sakura still hadn't moved an inch. She's just unconscious, right? Is she okay? I mean, it's Sakura. I'm not sure. Kyoko didn't reply. Poison? We found some poison. There was only silence, but that silence didn't last long. Here. I found a, I found a broom in the classroom. Use it. Makoto. I can handle this. You can handle this, right, Makoto? Please. Come on, please hurry. Okay. Stand back. Smashy, smashy. I took hold of the broom and swung as hard as I could, aiming directly at the window. All it took was one solid hit. The window shattered into 100 pieces, scattering across the rack room floor. I sunk my hand through the now... I stuck my hand through the now open window and started jostling the chair leaning against the door. The chair is pretty heavy, but if I can just... I pushed it with my strength, and finally the knob turned. Sakura! I ran up to her as fast as I could, but the moment I laid my hand on her... All I felt was cold death. I could feel only the last lingering warmth of the living body. Life had abandoned Sakura's body. And then... More death. A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! He's dead. Oh no. Huh? huh? Sakura's. Sakura's. Dead? She's really dead? I heard you talking, but my eyes stared steadily forward. I can only look on a Sakura's dead body. We didn't make it in time. It happened again. Muttering to herself, Kyoko began to gently inspect Sakura's body. I wondered, has she con has she was she confirming that Sakura really was dead, checking it for her pulse or a reaction? I have to go get them. I have to go get the others. On shaky legs, Hino left the rec room, and I why? Why did this have to happen? That's all I could say. I repeated it over and over again. Hi. I need to examine Sakura's body. I just stood there motionless behind her while she checked Sakura's corpse. Time passed. While I stood there, unable to do a thing. Time just passed. That's what time tends to do. And after I don't know how long... I got everyone! What? Ogre! Mm, yes! Yes. Oh, so she's dead, huh? I see. Her has been killed. I, I see. As soon as they arrived, Kyoko began. Just a second. You heard the announcement. You heard the announcement just now, right? So you know what this means. <laughs> Interesting. Her was murdered, and by someone in this very room. So is that what you were going to say? Huh? No. Whoever killed her. It's not just someone in this room. It's your fault. It was one of you. Hero, Byakuya, Toko, one of you killed Sakura. What? 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 You're accusing us before we even begun the investigation? I don't need to investigate anything because you hated her. You hated the sight of her. <laughs> one of you did it. I know it.
You know it? Ba -bum, ba -bum. Jeez, I don't know. Your power level would increase by that much by getting mad. What the heck? What are you doing here? Is it obvious? I'm here to hand out my little murder flyer. It's That's right. Monokuma it's the file. next Monokuma file. <laughs> and don't get mad. Tina, but you are gonna ruin that lewd little face of yours. Mm. Now then, with that, I... Hold on. There's something I want to ask. Huh? huh? It was you, wasn't it? You, you killed Sakura. Say what? Huh? Sakura wanted to challenge the mastermind to a duel. Maybe you and her fought again, and then... Words. Then I killed her? Hmm? Sorry, not quite. Actually, not even close. Ah! The whole thing, that whole thing is totally irrelevant now. Sakura came to a most regrettable end without even getting a chance to finish things with me. Which, thank God for that, I say, it saved me the trouble of having to go through with our little fight. Because even for someone like me, it would have been no mean feat to take down a behemoth like that. Hey, um... I gotta tell you, I was actually pretty worried. I mean, she violated a rule by attacking me in the first place, but I wasn't able to punish her. So I don't know who it was, but whoever the Blackened is this time, I owe you one. What is this? You owe them one? <laughs> Oopsie. Before you get all pissy potty at me, you better figure out who did it first. Because, I mean, your lives are all on the line, right? <laughs> you wait. <laughs> what is this? The bear said he didn't know who did it. That's that's interesting. The hell he owes them one? I hate him. I hate this whole thing. Well, I for one am glad it was Sakura. She was working for the mastermind after all. How do you say that now? Sorry, I didn't have time for your squabble. The next game has already begun. If you want to be angry at someone, be angry at whoever killed Sakura. Anyway. Right now, our top priority needs to be uncovering Sakura's killer. If we can't do that, we're all dead. Hmm. Then let's decide who will stand guard this time. I'll do it. Hina? I'm okay. Just let me handle it. Besides, I, I want to be here with Sakura. That's fine. Okay, well, Hina is guard number one, but we need one more. Kyoko, that's you. What? Me? Hmm. You're always a thorn in my side. This time, just stand by and watch quietly. Consider that an order. An order? That's fine. Fine, I'll stay behind. Hmm. Let's settle. Let's begin, shall we? Hold on. For that, there's something I want to say. What? Which is... Hero. Yakuya. Toko. None of you are allowed to set foot in the crime scene. Huh? What? It's your One fault! of you killed Sakura. <laughs> I won't let someone like that come anywhere near her. Stop talking. Don't be stupid. Our lives are just as much danger as yours. We have every right to investigate. I don't care what you say. I'm not letting the one who killed Sakura anywhere near her. Even if it means I have to use force, you're not getting in here. Well, it appears further discussion would be a waste of time. How about a compass? All clear. I won't ask you to let me to let all of us in. Just let me. What? what? <laughs> you don't really care, do you? You're both useless anyway. Yep. Nope, don't really care. I'd rather spend my time coming up with another splendid fantasy involving master anyway. <laughs> and you, hero, do you really object? Oh. If you're gonna go that far, what can I do? I mean, I don't have anything to hide, so why should I care? It's all clear now. Then it's decided. What are you saying? Nothing's decided. Calm down. I know how you feel, Hina, but you should agree to his request. But... Hey. We have to find out who killed Sakura. Correct. For those of us still alive, and to honor Sakura's memory... Fine, I guess it's okay. What about me? You're just completely ignoring me! But no matter what, you absolutely aren't allowed to touch her. Naturally, who would want to touch a filthy dead body? Listen. That's enough fighting. We need to focus on the investigation here on out. Everyone, keep this in mind. If you can't uncover Sakura's killer, Listen to me. all of us face execution. Finding out who killed Sakura, it's not a matter of hoping we can do it. If we want to survive, we have to do it. It's kind of a hopeless hope. We have no choice. Well, I know. Uh, we know how this works. We know how this works. We've gone through this 
times already. We know how we know how this works. Jeez. I better look at the secure the Monokuma file before anything else. The victim was Sakura Ogama. The time of death is estimated to be around 12 noon. The body was discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the school. There's evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head. No other injuries were noted. However, it seems that at some point, the victim suffered from violent vomiting of blood. Monokuma file four has been added to the truth bolt section. Hey. I think the case this time might be a challenge. Why's that? So... The only way into the rec room is the door we just came through. And that door had been jammed shut with the chair from inside the rec room. Which means the killer would have had to escape somehow after barring the door. So if the door was blocked from the inside, there was no way in or out until we broke the window. It's like zero escape, right? In other words... In other words, this is a classic locked room murder. Locked room murder. I guess you might see this kind of thing a lot in the mystery movies or books or whatever. But could it really happen in real life and right before our very eyes like this? Hey. Are you curious to hear more about what a locked room murder entails? Sure, if you don't mind. That's fine. When you break down this type of murder mystery, there are four basic types. The first type is when the locked room is created after the actual crime is committed. It simply means the killer commits the crime. Then, through some special method seals the room. This mainly involves some sort of trick involving the locking of the room. Basic approaches include using a string or simple mechanism. There are a number of variations. So for that, all we have to do is check the door to see if that's what was that, that's what it was, right? Correct. Second type is when the locked room already exists before the crime is committed. Oh. In other words. Basically the killer uses a special contraption or tool from outside to target the victim inside. He push a switch and fires a handgun, you shoot an arrow with a gap, the gap in the door, something like However, that. But in this case, that doesn't seem to fit. There are no guns or arrows in the school. The door doesn't have any gap that would allow it. Yeah, I think you can probably cross that one off. It's true. The third type is when the killer stays in the room until it's opened up. What do you mean by that? In other words, they stay hidden, and when the door is open, they use the confusion to blend in with the group. They pretend they showed up along with everyone else, and that's it. That's that. Sounds like it could have been possible, maybe. It's true. And the fourth and final type is when it wasn't actually a locked room at all. Like, I'm not a locked In room. Other words. By that, I mean there's actually an alternate escape route somewhere within the room. You see this a lot in novels and things, but in reality, it's certainly not possible. When you think, do you think we can cross that one off too? Indeed. I believe so, yes. So when it comes to locked room mysteries, those are the basics. So there are four possibilities, then Kyoko, which which of these four choices seems to be the most likely in this it's case? It's true. It's a good question. Answering that should be our primary focus during this trial. Right now, I can't really say. I see. The way the killer set up the locked room, until I figure that out, the truth behind Sakura's death may stay hidden. It's definitely a tough mystery. I need to concentrate and investigate as much as I can. For Sakura, I have nothing else. All right. Let's investigate. What's this? Probably the thing of the shards of glass scattered all over, all around the chair. And it's red. It looks like a bottle. These are the top and bottom sections of a bottle. So this must have originally been a bottle. Glass shards on the floor. All right. Oh, there's something else on the ground near the glass. It's a figure. It fits in the palm of my hand. It's a Monokuma figure figure on the floor. All right, what's this? Napkin? It's like some sort of wrapper. Oh, that's... You recognize it, Hina? No. Well, yeah, I mean, I gave it to her. It's a candy wrapper. Sakura got super upset when she found out Genocide Jack had attacked me, right? So after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. I thought it might help her calm down a little. I look like some sort of wrapper. Okay, so you gave that candy to Sakura? I found a big box of it in the warehouse. I really like them. Actually, as soon as we could get into the warehouse, I took the entire box back to my room. I made sure nobody else could get their hands on them. You really like them that much? I mean... But I wanted Sakura to get a chance to try one for herself. That's why I gave it to her. But now, they've lost all their flavor. You know. Polka dot candy wrapper. Okay. Is 
or four red bottles lined up on the shelf. And inside each bottle, there's kind of a Monokuma figure. What I'm wondering is, how did they get those figures inside the bottle? So... It's no different from your standard ship in the bottle. Huh? You know, where the bottle opening is smaller than the boat placed inside? You've never seen that? Oh yeah, maybe I have. In other words... So this is the Monokuma version of that. A Monokuma bottle, if you will. Alright. I feel like I'm finally starting to make sense of things little by little. Monokuma bottle sitting on the shelf. The Monokuma figure we found on the ground. The red shards of glass probably started. Wow, we're we're making a leap here. A, a leap. Blood over here. That's interesting. There's a blood stain in front of the magazine shelf. Must have been from Sakura, right? But that doesn't make sense. Why is it so far from where she died? Magazine shelf blood stain has been added to the truth bullet section. Let's look at the magazine rack. The same shelf full of magazines. There's all different kinds of magazines here. Blood stain, blah, blah, blah. What's this? Huh? The locker's open and and they're on the inside. It's a handprint. Why? What's a handprint doing here? Looks like someone touched the inside of the locker. Oh, it's a handprint. And all the dust. It's true. It looks quite fresh, too. I'd say someone was hiding in here in the locker, and they left behind a little something extra. So then, maybe the killer hid in here until the locker room was open, don't you think? And during all the confusion, they popped out and joined the rest of the group. Wrong. Unfortunately, that's not a possibility. Huh? Why not? Hey. Think back. Before we opened the door, we looked inside the room, right? Oh yeah, and the locker was already open at that point. Indeed. So there's n n no way someone could have hidden in there until after we opened the door. So yeah, then what does this handprint mean? Well, they could have hidden, like, right beside the door, and when we came in, they just left. It seemed like that would be dumb, though. <laughs> We already know who did it. Well, we know one of, potentially one of the people who did it. I couldn't stand the sight of her. You agree with me, don't you? Um, well, I don't want to say anything for sure without finding out more. Then let me help you find out more. You see, Sakura asked all three of them to meet with her. You know where? Right here in the rec room. What? After we went to the nurse's office this morning, Sakura and I left together, right? Well, eventually she went off on her own. When I saw her again after that, she told me. She said she left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet her in the rec room by noon. By noon? The Monokuma file said she died right around then. I'm telling you the truth. I heard her right from Sakura herself. And I tried to stop her. But she wouldn't listen. She said not to worry. And she just wanted to talk to them. And this is what happened. If I'd stopped her by force even, this, would ne this never would have happened. Hina... It's impossible not to have regrets, I know. Her account was added to the truth bullet section, but the fact that she had asked those three to meet with her, and she asked them to come to the rec room at noon, the same time and place, she ended up dying. It might be good to confirm what I just heard with the three of them directly. However... But for security to have been killed, yeah, it's not the type. Yeah, she's not the type who would go down without a it's fight. It's true. And she certainly didn't, I would say. She was the ultimate martial artist, strong in body, mind, and spirit. So how was the killer able to get the upper hand on her? I wonder, did someone get... Did, did someone get the upper hand? They must have taken her by surprise, certainly. right? Certainly. They wouldn't have needed to if they expected to stand a chance against her. They would have needed to. I assume we're going to say the same thing. Yeah, okay. Certainly. Oh, there's more over here. There's some kind of plastic container rolling around near the entrance of the room. So... It looks like a protein drink, and it's empty. Sakura must have drank it. Everyone knows how much she loved her protein. 
and she mentioned more than once how protein was good for all sorts of reasons. I would take that to heart if I were you. I wouldn't take that to heart if I were you. I know. Still, the protein can... It's got a label on it that says Kim A2. That reminds me. Sakura mentioned how the Kim Lab had all kinds of health stuff. She also... she So she must have gotten this room just from the Kim Lab. Yeah, just a second. That's strange. Hmm, what's this? You see what's scattered around the can? Shards of light blue glass. They must have been parts of the window. They must be parts of the window I broke to get inside. But they aren't scattered around the can. They're also underneath it. What does that matter? So... I can't say for sure yet, but you're probably going to want to take notes of that. I feel like it'll become an important clue yep. later. Important clue? I'm not sure how it... I'm not sure I see how. Okay. Oh, wait, we're gonna go through this again. I don't... Correct. So... Oh, I see how that's relevant. That's the chair. The chair was shoved up against the doorknob so you couldn't get the window, the door open. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the chair. In other words, there's no reason to think the chair had a, had anything special done to it. What? What do you want? You're bothering me. Uh, there's something I'd like to talk to you hmm. about. Make it quick. Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her in the rec room? <laughs> so you found out. Interesting. And it's true. I did receive a note to that effect, yes. But what fool would do what I what it said and risk being killed by that monster? So you didn't go see her? Of course not. I ripped the note to shreds and threw it away. And I haven't seen Sakura today at all. He says he didn't go see her. Is that what is that the truth? Well until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as Come fact. on. If you're all finished, please remove yourself from my sight. Okay, thanks. Alright, I think we're done here. Oh wait, we got a clock. The clock. Maybe the clock is relevant. It's around 1 o'clock right now. According to the file, she died around 12 noon. So roughly an hour ago. Is that when Kyoko and I were moving Alter Ego? I think that's it. Oh wait, I, what about the body? I haven't clicked the body yet. She threw her last breath sitting slumped forward in this chair. There's obvious evidence of the blow to the head. Normally, I wouldn't have any problem believing that that's what killed her. But according to the Monokuma file, she was she had also vomited blood. And you can see a trace of blood on her lips for sure. So what I what would have caused her to vomit blood? The Monokuma file specifically said she hadn't suffered any other injuries. Alright. Maybe her getting hit on the head somehow caused her to start vomiting blood? Not a chance. That's fine. However, your eyes have landed on a most interesting location. Interesting. Naturally. Yes, most interesting. Don't you agree? No, I don't think I'd call it interesting. But it does make me wonder. The reason Sakura vomited blood absolutely has to be connected to why she died. I think it's because of poison. I, I think that's why. Is there anything else to click on? Maybe the chair? No, that's not what I wanted to click on. No, I can't click on the chair. I think, I, I think I've clicked on everything now. The door doesn't have a lock. There's no evidence that the mountings have been tampered with. The only notable change to the door is the smashed window, which happened, of course, when I broke it to get inside, there's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the door. In other words, I don't see anything suspicious about the door itself. Hmm, having examined both the door and the chair, there's no doubt the reason the door didn't open was simply because the chair was shoved up against it. This kept the doorknob from turning and the door from opening. And there was no evidence of the door or chair being tampered with or anything like that. The killer must have created the locked room from the inside, not from the outside.
All right. Listen. Well, Makoto, have you finished with your general investigation? Yeah, I think so, for the most so part. Then. then you should put probably go to the talk with people now. I'm on guard duty, so I can't leave. Listen to me. Which is why I've decided you'll go in my place. She's decided. She's gotten a lot more pushy since we had our issue. But she's right. I have to go to talk to the others. Sakura wanted to meet with two other people. I need to hear what they have to say. Yes, I do. Oh, I just need to hit the button to leave. I'm trying to use the door to leave. Those other two people probably went back to their rooms. Alright, Kyo. I thought I forgot Kyoko was there. Press the doorbell. For a few seconds. Oh, man. Hmm? Who's there? Ah, the most negative aura I've ever felt. An aura of total oh, decay. What do oh. you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. I was in such a good mood, too. She didn't look like she was in a hey, good mood. I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? <laughs> Obviously annoyed, she slithered out into the hall. What do you want? You said you wanted to talk to me about something. I want to talk to you about the fact that Sakura to ask you to meet with you. What? Well. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, Kuya already told me she had asked to meet with him. What? She wanted to meet with Master too? Ah, I just said two, didn't I? Yeah. I guess that was totally obvious, huh? Yeah, pretty much. So, can you tell me about it? I admit I did get the note, but I didn't go see her. I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Hmm, Toko claims she didn't go see her, but I really believe her? Well, until I prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. Mm -hmm. Is it good enough? I'm back to my room. With that, Toko quickly retreated to her room. She's added to her truth. Okay, well, now we're gonna see the, uh, see, um, hero. Ding dong! After a few seconds. Hello? Yeah, actually, I wanted to check something. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with him. What? How'd you know about that? Could it be? Uh, did, did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have your special abilities awakened in uh, you? Um... But, but I'm not the only one she wanted to meet with. Ogre told me herself that she asked Bayakuya and Toko to come too. What? When did Sakura tell you that? What? Oh, well, uh, when um... she asked me to meet with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note? Uh, yeah, uh, a note. She uh, how about that? she gave it to me in person, and she happened to mention the others, like in passing. To be honest, this is super suspicious. So then you went and met with Sakura? No wrong. way! I, I totally didn't. Why would I ever do that? Yeah, definitely suspicious. Actually, last time I saw Ogre was when Hina got hurt, and I took her to the nurse's office. Don't look at me. I haven't seen her since then. While I'm here. Could you show me the note she gave you? Uh, um, um, do I still have it? Let's see. It's feeling around in his pocket. Hey, come on. Sorry, it looks like I don't have it anymore. The big goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. When he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of his pocket. Huh? Huh? What? With his wind, he snatched it back up again. Shoved it back in his pocket. Hey, come on. Uh, sorry, just a bunch of trash I forgot to throw out. Trash. What? what? Anyway, I can't deny that Ogre asked me to meet with it. I can't deny that Ogre asked to meet with me, but I never went. So, well, if you'll excuse me, before waiting for a reply, he quickly slipped back into his room. He said it was just trash, but there's no way there's all that's all there was to it. 
so I've heard from Toko and Hiro. Um, what next? I'll definitely have to look at the crime scene again. But on top of that, maybe I should find out more about the protein can we found on the floor of the rec room. I'm sure I can find... It must have come from the chem lab. So where should I start? Let's go to the chem lab. It's time to go to the chem lab. Bum. This is on floor four, right? Oh, look who, look who, look who, look who's there. Look who's already there. What? Lakoto, did you have your eye on the chem lab too? Just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, I got it. I think that you meant to say, yes, sir, I understand. No, I did not mean to say that. That is not what I meant to say in any, in any fashion or sense. This isn't my first time seeing this shelf, but I just can't get over how big it is. I could probably take a closer look at it. It looks like three shelves have been connected together to make one giant shelf. But more important right now, What's that powder that's been spilled in front of the shelves? I have to be careful not to step in it. There's a broken bottle in front of the shelf. This is where all the powder came from. It looks like a bottle had a label on it. Chem C4. Hmm. Would you like to hear something interesting? I was on the fourth floor this morning checking things out. At that point, this room wasn't like this. Then this powder must have been spilled. So in other words, that's right. It must. It could only have been around the time of the incident. If that really is what happened, it must be related to the case somehow. Source of the powder. There's also footprints of the powder. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. I'd better not leave a footprint. These are footprints. And they're only in front of the left shell. How do these footprints relate to the scene? As a whole, we may need to sketch out the floor plan. By we, you mean me? <laughs> How kind of you to offer. What an insufferable smirk. He handed me a piece of paper and a pen. What? Well, let's go. Chop, chop. Man, I hope he did it. I hope that, I hope he did it. So I got to work, and before long, I drawn up a sketch of the room. So, uh, how's this? Not bad for you, I mean. For me. So when you look at it, this when you, when you look at it like this, interesting. It appeared that whoever left those fragments only had business on the leftmost shelf. They came in, went straight to that shelf, did whatever they had to do, and then left. That's what the footprints tell me. That, 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 my God. I see. These footprints it's must be. Makoto, are they yours? Oh. No. What? Okay, then let me see your shoes and I'll confirm their size for myself. Couldn't think of any reason not to, so I quietly did what he said. Hmm. See, your feet do appear to be too big. Unfortunately, I must admit these are not your footprints, unfortunately. Hmm. But with how clear these prints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. And these prints are real, a really valuable clue. I should probably take a good hard look at that powder. There's a bunch of yellow powder. I already did. I already looked at it. Based on the position of the prints, whoever... Well, I already know this. That's all I can tell for now. Okay. Let's see, what's on this shelf? There's all kinds of dietary supplements and different medicines. The protein drink we found in the rec room probably came from this shelf. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter A and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section A. Hmm, but wait. There's one bottle here that's level labeled Chem C9. Did someone have put it here on accident? So what's on this shelf? Looks like a bunch of chemicals that have no idea what they are. Hmm. They're reagents. 
Put simply, they're used to end experiments to bring about a chemical reaction. How can you have lived with such ignorance for so long? It must truly be bliss. Isn't that kind of harsh? What? What, you think I think studying science and mathematics is no practical application in the real world? The words of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. I didn't even say that. Anyway, what doesn't... That doesn't matter right now. I need to focus on the shelf. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter B and a number. So I guess I consider this part of the shelving section B. I don't see anything out of the ordinary here, in which case I don't think I have to worry too much about this shelf. Alright, we got C. On this shelf is one look, and I can tell it's nothing but dangerous chemicals. They look like poisons and other powerful chemicals. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter C and a number. So I guess I consider this part of the shelf section C. I should try to find out more about the shelving unit. Looks like it's split into three sections. Section A is dietary supplements. Section B has reagents, and Section C has lethal chemicals. Sakura must have gotten the protein powder from Section A. What concerns me is that in Section A, there was a bottle with a label from Section C. What was a bottle of poison from Section C doing in Section A? There's definitely something going on here. Yep. I've already taken a good look at the chem lab. Maybe I should take another look at the, around the rack room. All right. I like that it tells me when I've looked at everything. I do like that. I do like that. Rec room is not on this floor. I think rec room is on this floor, isn't it? Yeah. Hey. Well, Makoto, what's, how's your investigation going? Oh, Kyo, Kyoko, what? Toko and Hiro had told me. I see. I see. It's all on the play at Kuya. They're both claiming they didn't go see her, but it's all too convenient. Someone must be lying. Someone's lying. Anyway. Well, we made some progress of our own. Sakura's body, the shelf of magazines, and the Monokuma bottles. These three things have revealed new clues. You do well to look them over one more time. Wait, what? There are shards of glass. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess these? I think Kyoko said she found a new clue involving the bottles. Something new? Something new. Hmm. Hey. Did you figure it out? They all have different chess pieces in them. There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay care careful attention. Yeah, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Correlation. Uh, can you just tell me what it so... is? I don't mind guiding you toward clues, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusion so that everyone can have confidence in their outcome. And it's not just because you don't trust me, right? No answer. I do trust you, to a degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Only to a degree. Hey. Actually, there's one other thing about the Monokuma bottles that's bothering me. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? An experiment? Anyway. Can you gather up all the pieces of the broken bottle? Try to get the smaller pieces, too. Are you sure it's okay to mess with the crime scene like that? That doesn't matter. I've already done a thorough investigation, so it's fine. And that obnoxious Bayakui is not here. So, so anyway, I need to get something from the chem lab while I'm gone, trying to gather up all the glass. With that, Kyoko left the room. I really don't know what this is about, but what choice do I have? I better just do it. I took the broom and dustpan and got to work collecting all the broken bottle pieces. And just as I finished up, sorry to keep you waiting. So then. Is everything ready? Let's get to work. So what kind of experiment are we doing? In other words... I got a scale from the chem lab. We're going to use it to compare the weights. Compare the weights of what? <laughs> the pieces of glass you collected and one of the Monokuma bottles that's still intact. Why would you want to do that? That's the point of the experiment. It'll make sense when we're done. Listen. It doesn't make sense. I mean... Why are we so dumb? 
First, let's compare the weight of two normal, two normal bottles. They're the same weight. In other words. So then. So here comes the important part. All the pieces you pick up on one side of the scale. Now, what might we expect to see? Well, a normal assumption would be either they'll balance out or the pieces we collected will be lighter. I... I did my best to get them all, but there's a chance I could have missed some here and there. Okay, let's give this a try. Huh? Broken pieces are heavier. How is that possible? I knew it. Just as I thought. What? In other words. The result of our experiment and the correlation between each of the bottles put it all together, hey. and I believe you will arrive at one very persuasive conclusion. So what do you think? It's all on you. That it was two bottles instead of one? Hey. I don't know what the bottles have in common, and I don't understand the results of the experiment. Comparing the weight of the broken bottles to a completely intact Monokuma bottle, the broken pieces were clearly heavier. What does that mean? So... The result of our experiment, the correlation between the bottles, put it all together, and I believe you'll arrive at one very persuasive Indeed. conclusion. So what do you think? It's all on you. Alright, well... Kyoko said the magazine shelf was hiding a clue of some kind. Hmm, clue. I think two of the bottles were used. Um, and, uh, the other piece was just, um, taken or something. Hmm, this magazine is upside down. Did someone put it back that way on accident? Hey. Something catches your eye. It's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Hey, you're right. Pick up the inverted magazine and flip through it. Wow, this... what? On one of the pages near the center of the magazine, a word has been written in blood. Bloody letters. It said Toko. Could this be a dying message? Correct. Then it would appear you found it. Kyoko, this is... So... This is indeed a dying message. Someone used their, le their finger to write to write it. A dying message. However... But just to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. <laughs> Why are oh, there so many dying messages in this game? It's ridiculous how many dying messages they have. It was already like that when I found it a little while ago. I made sure to put it back exactly where I found it, for the benefit of others who might, be, might come looking. Um... Hey, is that... It says Toko, right? Yeah, it looks like what it. The heck? And she's the killer, right? Well, it hasn't been confirmed yet. It's you. settled. She's the killer for sure. You, you've been at these trials, Hina. You know that the first one we point out is never the one who did it. Except Leon. I was pointing to Leon right away. And I was kind of pointing to Celeste right away, too. We, we can use it to corner the killer. I see why you would think that, but it just seems too easy, if anything. It makes the makes me that much more suspicious. Dying... Yeah. In other words... The results of our... Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go that again. Hey. We're gonna say that again. I think I, I I don't see how this helps us other than the same two bottles were used. We saw the knight, so I think the queen is the missing piece or the king. I don't know which one. I won't forgive you. Toko's the killer. I'm sure of it. The magazine proves it. We've got the killer cornered. Okay, what else can we look at? 
gave that to her. I got she got super upset when she found that the genocide sack had attacked me, right? After she left the nurse saw yeah yeah yeah, we already went through that. I don't think there's any are there any other clues in here? Let's look at this again. Chemical A2. So Hey. Correct. So I think that I think that's it. Just a second. Just staring off in the space is gonna help you figure anything else. Hey. Whew. Although there's still some times. I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times I've seen a dead body, I can't it's get true. used to it. It's totally normal. Then how can you? So I imagine it's because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. What? Sorry, never mind. Hey. More importantly, look here. Her shoes. Correct. You see that yellow powder on her instep? Yeah. It really stands out. See. That powder is clue number one. Yellow powder has been added to the truth. So it looks like Sakura spilled the yellow powder. Hey. Next is the wound on her head. It's true. Actually, even telling you that, it, it's incredibly difficult to spot, so let me explain. It would, seem... it would appear that she didn't suffer a single blow, but instead received two blows to the head. So, two jars. Two bottles. Two blows. Am I enjoying the game? I'm enjoying this part of the game. The investigation part, I enjoy. This is the part I like. Indeed. Interesting, wouldn't you say? And there's one more interesting thing. Correct. Both of her hands were spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood on either it's one. It's true. So that's what I learned from examining her body in detail. All right. I can't believe she was able to learn all that just by looking at her. You can't believe she saw powder on her shoes. All right. I don't think anyone but Kyoko would have pulled that off. Oh, and there we go. Man. Whoops, you caught me sleeping. Your investigation was just so boring, I couldn't stay awake. Should I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Okay, then let's begin the class trial. You know where to meet, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. It's already time, but the mystery of the locked room is still only half solved. At this point, whatever happens to have whatever happens will have to happen at the class trial. No, whatever. Not whatever happens, I have to make something happen. 